Not long after purchasing your SketchUp subscription from SketchUp Australia, you'll receive your tax invoice. That'll look something like this. This email will come from SketchUp orders at buildingpoint.com.au, so if you don't receive it, check your spam folder. I'll leave a copy of this email address in the description of this video. The second email you'll receive from us will come from SketchUp orders at buildingpoint.com.au and it'll include instructions on how to get started with your installation and activation. Once again, don't forget to check your spam folder for this one. If you don't already have a Trimble account, you'll receive a third email, but this time it'll come from no reply underscore identity at trimblepass.com. This email will invite you to activate your Trimble ID account. Please note, you only have 72 hours after receiving this email to activate your account. If you miss this 72 hour security window, please send a support request to SketchUp Australia. I'll leave a link in the video description below. On clicking the Activate Account button, you'll be presented with the Set Your Password page here. Go ahead and enter your details. When you're ready, click Set Password. Once that's done, you'll receive a fourth email from don't reply at trimble.com confirming that a new product entitlement has been added to your nominated Trimble account. By default, the end user access to your new product will be automatically assigned to the same Trimble account that you nominated when you purchased your SketchUp subscription through the web store. Basically what that means is that if you bought the subscription for yourself, you can skip to the download SketchUp part of this instructional video. However, if instead this new product entitlement needs to be assigned to some other end user, or you've purchased multiple subscriptions and need to centrally manage their allocation, go ahead and click the Manage Your Account link in this email. Please note though, that the account management portal won't work with Internet Explorer or Edge, so we recommend using Chrome or Firefox. Go ahead and enter your email address, then click Next, then enter your password, and sign in. Once you've logged in, you may be presented with a list of Trimble account persona options. Select the Building Point Australia option, as this will contain the SketchUp products you've purchased through SketchUp Australia. We might as well check out the My Products page first. Click onto that. This page will display all of the products that you have assigned to your Trimble account. Let's go to Members. At the top of this page, you'll see a list of all of your SketchUp associated products. And below that, the number of active seats and the remaining seats you have available for that product. If you can't find your SketchUp licenses, please do make sure that you're in the correct account. If you want to remove an assignment from an existing Trimble ID user, go ahead and click this button. To add a new assignment, click this plus assign button and enter the new end user's email address. Then click Add. SketchUp will confirm that end user's information, if that user already exists, and then you can click Add. SketchUp now confirms that new user has been added to your allocation list, and it updates the fact that there are no more seats available. The person you've just added to your members list should receive an email from SketchUp letting them know that they now have access to a new product entitlement. If you don't already have SketchUp downloaded and installed on your computer, you can find the download files under My Products, search for the correct product type, and then click the Download Application button. This will take you to a page that explains all of your entitlements. Let's go ahead and download SketchUp Pro Desktop Client. Once that's downloaded, it's important that we don't just 
start the installation straight away. We need to actually open up the destination folder by clicking on this drop down and selecting this show in folder button. That should take you to the folder location where the installation file has been downloaded to. To make sure there's no issues with the installation, it's really important that we make sure that your operating system and drivers are up to date. I'm not going to show you how to do all that in this video, but I will leave some helpful notes and links in the description of this video. Before installing SketchUp, please also make sure that you're logged in as the computer's administrator. When you're ready, right click on the installation file and then select Run as Administrator. This is really important. You may be asked, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Select yes. First of all, you'll need to choose your installation language. Let's all speak United States. And next, it's generally recommended that you install SketchUp in the default installation location. Go ahead and click install if you're happy with that. You may be presented with some end user license agreement. Go ahead and read through that. And if you accept, go ahead and press accept. Once the installation is complete, just press finish. As a quick aside, I should note that different computers have different video card hardware and software. I recommend that you make sure that Trimble SketchUp has been assigned to use your dedicated graphics processing unit as opposed to any integrated display adapter, as this might affect performance. It's important that we launch SketchUp at least once before we log out of the administrator account. So let's do that now. To launch SketchUp, just double click on the SketchUp icon. On first launch, you may be asked to sign in to SketchUp. Go ahead and click sign in. This will launch your internet browser and give you the opportunity to enter your Trimble ID email address and password. Go ahead and sign in when you're ready. Once you've successfully signed into SketchUp, you should see this page. Let's close that down. And there we are. We're ready to start SketchUp. Before we get into SketchUp though, let's check out this license tab at the bottom left hand corner because this will show you what license type you have activated. On this page though, you may see SketchUp is telling you that you're currently on a SketchUp trial. If you've bought SketchUp Pro, it's probably because you have access to a 30 day SketchUp Studio trial. At the end of that 30 day SketchUp Studio trial, your SketchUp installation will revert back to your SketchUp Pro entitlements. Finally, to launch SketchUp, go to Files and choose from either a template or if you have any, a recent file. I'll leave the transcript for this instructional video in the description below, as well as some links to additional resources.